Hi there guys. In this video, we're going to talk about linear regression and how to do it on your TI calculator 83 or 84. I've had some requests about this. Um, linear regression is a process where you take a bunch of data points. I've just given you some X and Y coordinates, and then you try and make an equation that fits them. And this is something that is really has a lot of applications. <clears throat> Anything that you can gather data on, say like Height and weight, those are related. You can make a, a, a linear regression equation about that. Um, you, could do a, you could do an equation about like how many hours you study on the x-axis and then maybe your grade on the y-axis. You know, any, any two things that are related, if you gather data, you can make a real-life model about them using this process. So here's my TI-83 calculator. Um, the first thing is I want to enter all this data into a list. Put it right here. Um, so I'm going to uh, go to the stat key right here. It says stat. And then I'm going to go to edit. And uh, if there's anything in the list already, you can go up to list one, hit clear and enter, and it'll clear all that out. I want to type the X's in the list one, and then I'm going to type the Y's in the list two. So watch me do this. X is two, four, zero, negative two, six, and seven. So we'll do two, let me move this up a little bit for you. Enter, and then four, enter, zero, enter, and then negative two, there's my negative two, enter, and six, and then last is seven. So those are all my X's. Uh, when you do the Y's, you have to make sure and keep the order the same. Two and eight go together, so you'll do eight and less two, right across from the two, then 15, then two, uh, then negative one, and then 20, and 17. So that shows all my data entered into list one and list two. Uh, and uh, now I'm going to quit. And uh, by the way, another way you can enter data in a list is if you go to these fancy curly brackets, second bracket, you can do two, comma, four, comma, zero, comma, negative two, comma six, comma seven. This is optional. Oops. Seven, then end it like that. So put your data in curly braces with commas. And if you push this store key right here, and then list one is L1 above the one, hit enter and it makes it a list one. Uh, it, and uh, if you went to stat edit, you can see that's list one. So that's optional, but I prefer to just type them right in. Anyway. Once you have your list, you're going to go to where it says stat plot up above the y equals, second stat plot. I'm going to just turn hit enter on that first plot. We're going to turn it on. And uh, then we're going to uh, uh, see that x is list 1, y is list 2. And uh, I'm just going to hit graph. And uh, I see... Uh, uh, my my points, I see three of them. I don't see the others. So this is a problem. Uh, you need to make the calculator find all the points and show you the, night, the appropriate window. Right now, I've got 10 right, 10 up, 10 left, 10 down. So if you go to zoom right here, hit zoom, and go down to zoom stat, all the way down the ways. Oh, there it is, option nine. What the, what the calculator does is it finds all the points and then it makes a nice window that fits all of them. So these are one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, yeah, all six points there. And now let's just imagine my, my, uh, my line here. It's gonna kind of float through like that. It's gonna just kind of be a line that goes through all the middle. And it's gonna be the calculator's way at attempting to guess what the Y should be based on knowing the X. Um, the linear regression model, the goal of it, is that if you are given an X, like say X was, what's the number not in this list? Say X was three. If someone said, hey, what's Y when X is three? Well, right now I don't know because it's not one of my points. But if you plug it into your linear regression model, that will provide a guess of what it thinks Y should be if X was three. So here we go with the model. I'm gonna quit, just like that. Um, we're going to go to list. It's second list. I'm gonna go to math. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I got that wrong for a second. Go to stat. Uh, 
go to calc. So let me show you again. I'm going to push stat, uh, go to calc. And we're going to go to linear regression, which is option four. And uh, it's now it's automatically programmed to just the default that X is list one, Y is list two. But I'm going to just tell it that anyway so that you get used to those steps in case you wanted to put, you know, your data in list four or something else. I'm going to do second list one right there. Just type that in and then comma. That's X. And then we're going to do second list two for Y. So this is where the X is. This is where the Y is. And then watch this carefully. I'm going to do comma. I'm going to type Y1 because I want my equation to be automatically put right here in Y1 so it will graph. So X, Y. I'm going to go to VARs, variables, Y VARs, hit enter on function, and then Y1. And so what this is telling linear regression is pick the X's from list one, pick the Y's from list two, and then put the equation in Y1, hit enter. So there it is. Uh, my linear regression is Y equals A is like the slope. You know, for a linear model, you have Y equals MX plus B, where this is the slope, this is the Y-intercept. So for me, this is 2.37, we'll say, X plus 3.45. And um, there we go. And uh, if you look at the graph now, see Y equals, they type that in automatically for me because I had that Y1 there. If you hit graph, that line goes smack through the middle of the points. And you can see sometimes this line is an under guess. That's an under guess, but sometimes it's an over guess here. That one looks pretty much spot on. The line over guessed at that point, but it under guessed this point. The line may not ever go through a single point. That's okay. Um, it, all that's important is that the line gives a pretty good guess for any of these, you know, values kind of along the way that we don't have. I mentioned three. Let's just practice with x equals three. What is y if x equals three? Well, what I can do is I can put in, uh, and by the way, sometimes you see a little hat there. y hat is guess of y. That's what that means. y hat, it just says, hey, this is a guess. That's all it means. So I'm just gonna go put in three right here spit out my y and see what we get. Uh, I'll do it on the calculator. 2.37 times 3 plus 3.45. That would be a guess of 10.56. That's a, that's a guessed point. Let's see how it looks. Uh, if you hit graph, if you hit trace on my line, and say you went to 3, there's 10.56. That just looks like a point that's right in the, with the rest of them. So it looks like a believable guess for if X were 3, maybe Y could be 10.56. So that's how linear regression works. Um, do it on the calculator. It, it's not that hard. Uh, one last thing that I need to tell you here. When you're making guesses, notice how the X started at negative 2 and ended at 7. So my interval was on the X was negative 2 to 7. When you're making guesses for Y, uh, based on an X, because my data only encompasses negative 2 to 7, I can only make guesses in that span. If I wanted to guess what Y is when X was, say, 68, you could not use this model for that because that is out of the scope of our data. And, you know, things may be different, you know, when X is 68 than it is here from minus 2 to 7. So think about the window of where your data is. And that is the only span when you can use a linear regression model to guess what Y is going to be. I hope that helped you, and I uh, uh, hope you have a good day. I'll see you later.